Hey, welcome back to Round Time Restoration, everybody. My name's Chris. Right here is the main shaft for my Triumph TR4 transmission, and there's nothing on it, which means that that pain in the rear little circ clip that goes there, I figured out how to get that off. So I think that uh, might be a novel way. So uh, I'll share it with you and show you what I did and see if I can get it off the overdrive one because I got to do that one next. So thanks for watching. Let's get it sorted. So as I said in the introduction, I think I might have found a, a um, novel way to do this. I'm not sure that I've seen anybody try it this way. Uh, maybe a variation of it, but not directly like this. So the problem is, is that you need a Churchill special tool, like I mentioned in my last video, to get this circlip out. And since it doesn't really have rings or anything, it gets to be a pain in the rear, and, and it's hard to grab with, with anything, really. So there's there's tricks out there where you can put notches in the end of the circlip and, and use a bunch of screwdrivers, and I'm going to kind of do a variation of that. So the point is to get that circlip opened up enough that it clears all of the gear teeth there, and because... It's pretty heavy duty and pretty thick. It's not, it doesn't bend very well. So as you start to open it up on this side, this edge opposite of the gap tends to cut in and, and sit inside the groove. And, it, and it, you can't push it the other way because you kind of run out of room. So what I took to doing is take a screwdriver and pound it in. And essentially, I think I ended up using four and use the screwdrivers all around the circumference and spread that thing out and then hit the top of the shaft controlled but with a hammer and try to then put the shaft drive the shaft down away and eventually and hopefully the shaft drives away and the circlet just clears and gets up on the gears and then you're home free once that happens the problem is and the trick is is that the screwdrivers can cause such an interference fit in between the circlip and the shaft that you can't drive it so it worked for me on the regular transmission, so we'll try this, or the overdrive one, excuse me. So we'll try this one now. The other kind of thing going on here is some, in some spots there's spaces down below the circlip in between the shaft and the gear, and in other spots there's not. So you gotta kind of find those places where there's gaps so that the screwdriver fits down in there, or you get a screwdriver that's thin enough to allow you to do that. So we're going to go ahead, see if I can't get this to work for me. Make a liar out of me here. See if I can get lucky. And your screwdrivers need to be thin enough that they uh, allow you to start to get down in there. But not so thin that they don't move it out of the way enough. And I'm just kind of looking to make sure that I think the, the circlip's clearing everything everywhere. I think I'm going to have a problem over here. All right, so that's pretty close. I might have a little bit of a hang up right here. You can't really see that, but the circlet might, yeah, it looks like it's just barely trying. All right, that might be enough. So now, hopefully, that circlet all around 360 degrees is open up far enough that allow me now to knock the shaft down and into the uh, through so that circlet lifts up. So we're going to put the shaft down here and see if I can't make this work. We got like a little uh, a little cheater extension here. Just put it in the uh, in the little hole that's in the end of the shaft and just give it a couple shots. All right, I think we might have to reset this one because I'm not close enough to a gap on the edges. Well, maybe not. All right, so that worked. 
All right, so I don't know how well you can see, you probably can't, but right there, and you can see I got some play now on the gear, but now that circlip is starting to ride up the, um, the shaft. So I'll just keep smacking on it lightly a little bit, and then eventually I'll get enough of it on there that All right, that's pretty much there for now. All right, so I'm going to take the screwdrivers out, which might be a little tough. Oh, that one wasn't bad. All right, so it looks a little crooked. If you can see how it's a little crooked there. So I'm going to smack this another time or two, or unless I can get a screwdriver under here. I don't want to get this far and then lose control of it. All right. Yep. All right, so take the screws out, screwdrivers out, and just start working the circlip up. Alternately, you can also like smack the gears up. That might be a little better. All right, and as you get close, this circlip is under tension, so it'll go flying on you. So just be careful. I'm going to put a rag over top here, but uh, that's pretty much it. So you can see it's obviously completely separated and that um, that worked pretty well. So you need uh, four properly sized screwdrivers, give or take like that. So you can get that thing to open up all around the circumference of it and then try to smack the shaft through. And that's uh, kind of the same thing, just looking at it backwards.